Okay, in this video, we're going to go into a little bit more in detail about blood and what are the various components of the blood. So what makes up the blood? And then in later videos, we're gonna go into specifics on each one of those components, okay? So why don't we start here and just discuss what the blood is. So if you go to the doctor's office and they take a blood sample from you, so they put the needle in, pull some blood out and it goes into a test tube, okay? The blood that you see at that point is called whole blood. So let's just kind of uh, identify this. Let's just draw this little test tube here. And, you know, this is the blood that's drawn from your doctor's office, okay? And so this is called whole blood. Okay, now whole blood contains all your elements. It contains the formed elements, it contains the plasma, it contains white blood cells, it contains nutrients, all of those different components. And we can separate those out. And you separate them out by putting it into a centrifuge, which is, you put a, uh, the test tube in this device and it spins it really fast. And the heavier, uh, uh, the heavier elements of the whole blood, the heavier elements, gets uh, moved to the bottom of the test tube. The lightest elements are at the top of the test tube. Okay, so let's, let's look at this and uh, see what we're talking about. So that's whole blood. And let's look at another test tube here, kind of an odd shaped test tube. So on the bottom, this part, will be the heaviest of the elements and that's going to be the red blood cells okay remember what we call that what's the other uh, formal name for that make sure you know that one if not go back to the beginning of the previous video and pick that one up this uh, or the the volume of red blood cells to the whole blood it's approximately 44 percent Okay, so 44%, so this would be 44% on this area, okay? So this bottom part, that would be like 44%. Um, my drawing is off a little bit. Let me bring this up a little bit more so it's a little bit more accurate, okay? The next layer, I'm going to put this in a little different color. I'm making it a little bit wider here than it really is. This layer is called the Buffy coat, okay? So Buffy, like Buffy the Vampire Slayer, okay, there you go. Uh, Buffy, Buffy coat. And this accounts for less than 1% of the whole blood, of the total volume of blood. And what makes this up, that's going to be the white blood cells and platelet, okay? And the top layer, let me put this in a little different color. The top layer, this is going to be the plasma. And it accounts for 55% of the total volume of blood. So when we're looking at um, the total blood on this area, that or the, the total blood formed elements make up approximately 55%, I'm sorry, 45%, let me erase that, 45%, let me just get rid of that and go back here. So it makes up about 55, I did it again. I'll get it right one of these times. 45% of the total volume of blood and the plasma makes up about 55% of the blood. Um, what else did I want to discuss here? No, nope, that looks like it right now. Um, next up, what we're going to talk about will be hematocrit. 